Hey, this is Paul Cardullo for Gruesome Magazine and Horror News Radio. I'm here today with our very own Doc Rotten. He's here to tell us about a film he saw in conjunction with the Fantasia International Film Festival. This is an Argentinian horror comedy called Dead Man Tells His Own Tale, or El Muerto Cuento Su Historia, by director Fabian Forte and starring Diego Gentile. How are you doing today, Doc? I'm doing good. You did tremendously well with those titles. I would have butchered them <laughs> like a like a fat pig. Well, tell us about tell us about the film. <laughs> I this is a film that we saw, like you said, with Fantasia, and it's a uh, it is a horror comedy fantasy that you <laughs> for in one way of looking at it, it is about um, a a director who is very much uh, a, a pig. He he uh, womanizes, he, he cheats, he lies, um, but yet he is very charismatic, and he does love his uh, family, even though he cheats on his wife. He does love his daughter and uh, and all that. So you, it manages to walk the tightrope uh, with him to keep uh, to keep you on his side, even though he's he's a, basically a pig. Uh, but what happens is he runs into a a coven of um, blood sucking fairies. Uh, I oh. thought they were vampires, but when I looked into it, they were actually blood-sucking fairies. Uh, yeah, those. That's uh, that's not, that's that's different. That is different. Uh, Celtic goddesses, uh, if you will, and they uh, kill him. But when he uh, he dies, he comes back to life, and that's uh, a lot of what the first act is all about: is uh, establishing him and establishing this event. And we get this weird. Uh, uh, kind of um, flashback, not a flashback uh, lead up that is interesting, but a little off putting. Uh, the rest of it is basically catching up with the story from then and, and figuring out what this guy can do uh, as he's discovering his, his new lifestyle and, and uh, a number of other friends that <laughs> in similar, uh, in similar dire straits as he is. And uh, it's, uh, it is funny. It is gory. It has a number of uh, interesting scenes and has a lot to say, and it does balance a lot uh, enough to keep you interested in what's going on. Um, and um, and then it ends with uh, a twist that, for many, may just not work as well as they intended. Well, you mentioned that part of it was off-putting and that ending was a little um, may not work. Does that outweigh you know how does how does how does it fall as it were if you were to put it on the scales of uh how, how does how does it work overall for you it works well enough because of the actors are very charismatic like i said the league idea uh, diego gentile or gentile however you say his name apologies in advance uh he 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 makes a good lead and and his wife is also very uh, charismatic and she she gets a stronger part toward the end uh, during the finale. And, and that all works together pretty well. Uh, the best parts are when he's with his other friends and they're trying to um, learn about the status that they're in. And, and that's when the, the humor really kicks into high gear. I think some of the humor around the edges of that um, uh, gets a lost in translation kind of, uh, you know, hit and miss. Um, uh, it, it plays a lot like uh, Witches and Bitches is a, a film, even though that's from Spain, uh, that uh, is similar in a lot of uh, themes and and, um, hit and and beats throughout the film. So you mentioned that uh, when he was together, that was some of the best parts. Would you say what's is around your favorite scene around that or do you have a different favorite scene? Oh, yeah, definitely. The, the My favorite scene is a, is a dinner scene between these four chaps who are all in the same boat. And there's one fellow who uh, he, he just doesn't want any part of it, but they're already dead and he wants to kill himself. So at one point he hangs himself and the, the rest of them just pay him no mind. And he spends the entire dinner party hanging you know, at the end of the table, still having a conversation, and everything, because he can't die. And then later when they decide they're going to make uh, 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 basically uh, wooden stakes like you would kill a vampire, he realizes that, oh, well, this might work on me and shoves it into his own chest, only to later realize it doesn't work on him because, well, he's a, basically a zombie. <laughs> so <laughs> that, it, it's got a lot of fun stuff like that. So uh, what would your final thoughts be in your final score? 
Uh, my final score is going to be uh, three stars out of five. And uh, for those who like um, foreign films uh, here in the States, I, I would recommend it, especially if you like films like Witch and Invention. Thank you again, Doc. Uh, you want to say good night? Uh, good night. Good night. Be sure to visit GruesomeMagazine.com to listen to the other gruesome podcasts, Hard News Radio, and Decades of Horror. Also check out the Gruesome Magazine Quarterly, available in digital and print-on-demand format.